Hi, uh, today I will show you how to uh, uh, get the uh, intermediate uh, beam force using uh, Excel on video sheet. Let's say this is uh, like you have a uh, beam with the uh, UDL of uh, 10 kilonewton per meter. Okay, and uh, this is your uh, winding moment that is WL square by 8. So let's say length will keep it uh, 5 meter. So you are okay, uh, bending moment will become uh, 10 by 5 square by 8, uh, will give us. Uh, which gives us uh, 31.25 kilo newton meter okay so this is the output what we have to get and similarly for uh, like the reaction the shear force what need to be here is uh, w that is 10 into 5 by 2 so so you should get 25 kilo newton Yeah, so we'll do the same in our style group. So, so zero and five. The support will go for pend. Okay. Then now uh, we will give a property. Okay. So then we will apply property. Property. We will assign some. We'll go to section database or you can define this just for showing the bending moment and how to extract it so you can take any section and you can apply so then we'll go to load definition so we'll create a dead load dead load so add Member load, uniform force, so that is minus 10. Minus 10 kilonewton per meter, add. So we can go again as I to we can apply. So we get load applied. So then uh, we will define load combination. For extraction, make sure that you are defining minimum two load combination. So I'm, I'll just take this, and I will do the same again, just for sake of uh, um, creating load combination. And then, yeah. So and then we will go to command analysis, perform analysis, and then you can run the analysis.
generally when we are browsing the limit we'll go here and uh, we can double click here and if you go here or uh, shear bending then uh, then we can see here and we can scroll down to the mid 2.5 you can see here this is the load okay so it is in kg meter so let me just change it Unit. So I just want this to be in kilometer. Kilometer. I think it's enough for now. So we can go back, double click, sure. So at the end, you can see, you can scroll this and you can check. At the end, we have 25 uh, kilonewton. So which is ma matching with our uh, calculation 25 here. And then uh, and then uh, yeah you can scroll down to the mid you can see here so the mid it is already showing 31.25 so you can see here as well and type you can give input exactly 2.5 so then it gives here and you can select a load combination as well since we have used the same one like load case one so it doesn't matter okay and if you want to see a shear here okay shear diagram so 25 is the shear diagram which is matched with our uh, um, shear pull diagram okay so now i'll show you how to extract this in um excel vba here uh, two two three okay okay so this is Excel sheet where the, you can now uh, get your values. Okay, so first you have to press clear. So that, and then you have to select the beam. You have to give distance at what distance you want, 2.5 and load case for 2 to 3. Here you cannot extract for primary load case in this Excel sheet. You need to have a load combination. So uh, like you need to have minimum two load combination the details okay I have some grids here so let me just fix the code yeah okay um, so let's see let's run it again okay so this is what uh, I'm getting here so fy at the mid so that is uh, like very less and uh, uh, any moment it is giving uh, what we are getting instead same result we are getting here as well here uh, you can see okay. at the 2.5 let's see what is your shear i think it should be very minimum like it's like almost zero it's almost zero but here uh, we are getting like minor value which is like very minimum so it is negative so we can consider it as a zero and here it is exactly giving the output so we can use this for as many uh, like uh, beams you want you can select multiple beams uh, you can run and you can use it okay so i'm just uh, copying and pasting this as well Yes, you just want to have it. Hope uh, this will be useful. And, uh, if you have any comments, you can. Uh, um, if you have any doubts, you can put it in the comments so that I can look and I can uh, give a response. Uh, mainly, it will be useful when you are uh, or when you want to know uh, the forces at a particular distance. So it avoids your like going every time going to be mind uh, checking and scrolling down arrow and checking you. So instead of that here in the Excel you can extract all the data in a single place with all the sheer like axial forces and all other parameters. Thank you guys.